the title, of course I had to write the word allegations, even though the seemingly evidence against Alex is literally 4K. And of course we're gonna get into all that and some weird figures in the social media space that are using this for their clout gain. But overall, I just wanna give you guys a quick trigger warning. This has tones of verbal and physical abuse as well as just abusive personalities shining through. So take that how you will. Now I'm Alex or self-proclaimed internet sensation I'm Alex has been a very popular YouTuber for the last like, I wanna say really prominently like five, six years. He's been really popping and he's been a part of Mimulus's crew with uh, Mimulus and Will and E and all them and even has this like podcast that they do. But this seemingly, you know, beacon of positivity that um, while yes had controversies, had just as much if not way more overwhelming support for him and what he stood for and he was just a seemingly likable guy that made YouTube videos and made a lot of money and fame doing it. However, his ex-girlfriend who was with him for just over a year finally came out and released a 80 plus page Google Doc that, you know, entailed text messages and receipts, if you will, of a lot of things. But the cherry on top, and yes, I'll put the uh, link in the description to all that stuff if you'd like to go look at it yourself, but the cherry on top of all this were the videos. Like I said, he was literally caught in 4K. Speaking of 4K real quick, I just surpassed 4K. I'm going for 5K by the end of the year, so if you could please just go down there, look at the subscribe button, give it a little tickle, it would mean a lot to me. So I'm a fucking whore mouth bitch retard cunt. Is it generally because you're just fucking brain dead? Yeah, I'm very brain dead, yeah. Is that why you decided to go on the fucking offensive instead of the, the uh, maybe... Offensive. I don't, know, I don't know what to call what you did. It was weird. It's always weird. You always take the fucking weird route. Just do the normal route, which is... Just do the normal route, but a normal girlfriend You're would acting like I this is I didn't all just it. me, and that's something you really need to fucking fix. I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the fuck up. You, Because this one, genuinely, this one, this one, you, you fucked this. Royally okay. fucked this. They got your ass on camera. Niggas ain't got me in no fucking camera. This is the clearest video I've ever seen. This is the most HD shit ever. This is 4K. How did they get you in 4K? That ain't me. You know, I'm just gonna be honest, I don't mean to make fun of this at all. I am a victim of witnessing abuse when I was younger. That's not what I'm trying to make fun of. The the thing that is funny to me here is that he's acting like this tough, you know, he's being a prick. He's acting like this tough guy against his girlfriend while he's flipping his hair in the middle of it. But anyways, from his first video, you can see Alex's colors start to shine out a little bit. He's very short-tempered, very manipulative, and this is just like a 30-second clip. I joined cool, and when I'm getting, you're talking to me, going, this is the thing, even though, now, now, when it's too fucking late, you admit that you did everything fucking wrong. But when it actually matters, when you should lay down like a good fucking dog, you don't fucking do it. You fight for some reason. I don't know why you fight, because you're losing, because you end up admitting that you fucked it all up anyway. So it's just fucking weird. And I know that you're going to end up admitting that you fucked it all up, which is why it's even thing about you. And this is the thing, and this is why I fucking got issues there. Oh and you God. think you can, you think you can just fucking ignore them, because like, well, what's the worst that can happen? Um, I don't know, uh, your boyfriend's a fucking famous internet celebrity and doesn't trust these people because he has to keep his circle small. Because you might not have anything to fucking lose, because your life might be down the fucking drain, but I still have quite a lot that I would like to fucking give. Uh, you're making it incredibly fucking hard for me. Just like Lewis did. I fucking hate all of you. You guys are fucking like, like, I can't make any videos of Paul Breach. Now here he's just kind of blabbering and he's being very manipulative as you can see. But like my question as I'm just going through some of these is like, how do you allow yourself to even be in this situation? Yes, I'm glad he's caught and I'm glad he's being outed as an abusive asshole. But like, how do you literally sit in front of your nice ass webcam, berate your girlfriend and expect nothing to ever come from that? Like, it's crazy that you're literally caught in 4K, right? And it's so cringe here how he's like, I'm an internet celebrity. You can't be ruining my life, boys. You're making my life any worse. Like, the narcissism and, and manipulation again is just so gross. So again, the full tweet thread that, that will eventually link you to the Google Doc will all be down in the description. Uh, but first, I just want to give a quick, brief introduction to her expose of 80 plus pages. So in the start here, it says, I have been threatened by Alex to not come out with anything at all and to keep quiet or he will create a contradictory story to discredit my own, but I'm not scared anymore. No matter what is said in response to 
this statement, I know I've said my piece and I can move on with my life. We had known each other for years before we interacted and we're seeing each other for a few months before anything was official. We officially started dating March 17th, 2023, giving each other 100% of our attention, time, and effort with no arguments. So like I said, it looks like they had been dating for just over a year before this all came out. And I mean, I know I put allegations in the title, but I mean, as I'm scrolling through this, the complexity of the evidence and the screenshots and the videos, like this is just overwhelming. Now something interesting that I found here is somebody said, TLDR please, this is way too much information. Like somebody is sharing with you their domestic abuse story and your first thing is, I don't wanna read all that, please summarize. Like that's actually, one, that's peak brain rot laziness on the internet. And two, that's like the most disrespectful you can be to a victim of something like this. And now there's somebody that I wanna talk about named Annie. And Annie is, is somebody that goes back with the kind of history of this kind of stuff as Annie outed somebody or tried to out somebody named Slazo. Turns out those allegations seem to be largely false and Annie looked like a fool, went quiet, and now came back to, I guess, give their piece on the whole situation. This is them saying my experience with I'm Alex and they talk about how they definitely did date I'm Alex, but it was private because they like to keep their relationships private. They talk a little bit about how controlling and stuff Alex was and then they also talk about how Alex got them this specific bracelet and they used it as proof in a video that Alex posted about their breakup to kind of, I guess, just say, hey guys, look, I'm not lying, we dated. You know, I feel punished for wanting, ever wanting to, to do more, ever thinking that I could, ever believing in myself, you know. And I'm really not at all trying to discredit a story of somebody who could have been a victim to all this, especially considering when you do it to one person, you usually do it to another person and so on and so forth. But to say that it's not weird, timed, and and a, and a bit of, I don't want to be the, the aggressive one here and say clout chasing, but it, it is a little weird that you say nothing at all um, until somebody else comes out and then you're like, oh, me, me, this also happened to me, by the way. Now, again, I'm not trying to discredit what happened to them, but two things. They waited until the story was popular, it seems, it seems, and two, they are very well known for in the past rushing to conclusions and throwing people under the bus when they didn't deserve it. Overall fishy stuff. But I can 100% disagree with a lot of the internet and say, if this did happen to you, you do deserve to talk about it. I don't think this outlet and this like, here's my proof was the right way to talk about it. If you were genuine in it, you could have just been like, hey, this happened to me. This is my story. I want to culminate with what Alice said and, and that's that. But um, there response we got here was 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 very petty i feel like and just before this video is over there's one more person i want to talk about who is milking this harder than i would like to be on a table sorry uh, this guy's name is Kavos or Kavos and it's kind of weird that he's using this information to be like haha i told you so quit because it's making me laugh seeing i'm alex former stands and i can tell just from their profiles they're tweeting me now because now i've Everything I've said about Alex has come to fruition, right? And I'm not saying that as, look at me, I'm the best. It was obvious. I was, even if this didn't come out, I knew I was right about Alex all along. Me and a select few people in the commentary community always knew what Alex was like. He says like, oh, it's not me being cool, but it, he's definitely making it look like, ah, I knew this all along. You know, I said this a long time ago. In fact, he posts a video of himself saying this stuff a few years ago. Thinks he can get away with anything. Alex thinks that he is untouchable when he himself is quite possibly one of the worst people on this platform and one of the most dangerous people considering how many people's lives he's almost flipped upside down. Any UK YouTubers, any influencers who actually hold Alex accountable because he really does need to be held accountable. I don't have high hopes because the UK generally shield Alex, make him out to be this lovable guy who's harmless either because they're too scared to call him out or they make money off him. <coughs> E-boy. Very weird. And if you go look at Kavos's Twitter, it's just flooded the last like 48 hours with I'm Alex stuff like to the brim. And now, of course, the last thing I want to talk about is Mimulus because Mimulus is very, very close or was very close to Alex. They did tons of videos together, just like Will and E. They were very close to Alex. But Mimulus did release a response on his Instagram story. I'm aware of the Alex situation. I would usually wait until both parties have said their side publicly before speaking about it. But I think the evidence here is overwhelming. I have spent this morning reading what Alice has written and going over the evidence she provided and no one should have to go through what she has. It's 
awful and disturbing and seriously shocked me. I'm still processing what happened. It was one of the worst situations I've ever seen in my life and I hope Alice is okay. It took a lot of courage to speak out about this. Obviously, I think George or maybe Alyssa is gonna cut ties with Alex as I think most people would. Um, and for your last little tidbit here, here's a video of somebody thinking that they, they caught Alex, uh, his subs were declining and then they just randomly jumped up by like 3K. So somebody saying that Alex is buying subs. Um, one weird thing I wanna say just before I play the clip is it's weird, you know, cancel culture is weird, man. People are just sitting here watching Alex's subs go down for who knows how long to get this clip. I'm not saying it's bad. I think he deserves to be canceled and this is just disgusting to be honest with you. But overall, that's all I got for you today. He seems like a douchebag and um, I didn't really like his content back in the day. I, I really like Mimulus though and I think Mimulus hopefully will um, fully cut ties with him. And uh, until that, I'll see you guys next time.